Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids and this is my unboxing and first look at the 2013 Apple Airport time capsule. This particular one is a two terabyte module and this has been updated by Apple with the latest 802.11 AC Wi-Fi. So super fast Wi-Fi connection in here and a brand new design as well. So we've had a little quick look around the box please do stay tuned because after I've unboxed this, I will give you a comparison between this new model and the outgoing model as well, so you get to see what the physical differences are to the two devices. So we're just gonna cut through the cellophane on the top. And I always do this carefully. I like to keep my Apple product boxes in, in nice condition. And the reason I do that is because if I ever get rid of an old model, it adds to the value or if I give away an old model as a gift, then it certainly is nice to put it back in the original product packaging. So that's that seal actually taken off, and we can simply slide this outer sleeve off, and it should hopefully reveal the new airport time capsule. It's a little bit of a tight fit. It's quite a heavy product as well, actually. I was quite surprised as to how heavy this actually is. There we go, so we've removed that outer packaging and this is what it looks like inside. It's presented really nicely. We'll just dip this down to the camera to show you the Apple logo on top. And we'll just remove this and pop it to one side. And then we've got the actual sort of lower portion of the box here. And it says on the front here, designed by Apple in California. And we can remove this with the little sort of thumb hole there and this reveals not very many accessories because you don't really need much for the new airport time capsule. Just the power cable, which is a figure eight adapter on one end and then a three pin UK plug on this end. And then we have got in the base of the box here, just remove this. We have got a setup guide. And then just underneath that, we have got some regulatory certification, can't even say that, regulatory certification. And then we've also got one year limited warranty. Now, no Apple stickers with these products because they're classed as accessories rather than sort of main hardware products, which you get Apple stickers with in every single box, but no stickers inside this box. So that's it with regards to included pieces of bits and pieces inside the box. Let's have a look at the actual airport time capsule. So this is actually wrapped in plastic. We've got a little tab just down here, which we can pull back. And the whole outer casing is wrapped in this. They do a really nice job of packaging these. Because Apple want to make sure that you receive your new product in perfect condition. So they completely wrap it in this white plastic, which we have just removed. And then on the base, there is also an additional piece of packaging, which is just this sort of plastic sticker again, just to protect the base. And that also reveals another Apple logo on the bottom there. Now the base of this has got some ventilation slots in, all the way around the sort of circumference of this circular type base. And then on the front of the unit, there is also a little LED light. And this glows different colours depending upon the status of the device, either amber or green, and sometimes it's flashing when the device needs an update. And then let's just turn this around and give you a look at the rear of the time capsule. So round on the back here, right at the bottom, we've got the input for that power cable I showed you. There's no external PSU, the PSU's housed inside here. And we've got a little reset switch here for if we need to ever reset the unit completely. We've got the WAN socket here, or wireless area network socket, and you're gonna plug this into your existing router or internet connection. And then we've got a USB socket here, so we can plug in an external hard drive or a printer and share that across our network as well. And then we've got three more ethernet sockets here, all gigabit speed, and we can attach different devices to those should we wish to hardwire something into our network. What this actually does is not only provide wired connections, but also that 802.11 AC wireless connection. And you can use this to either extend an existing network or to set up a brand new network as well. Now you can also get an Airport Express base station, which I unboxed on the channel a little while back. 
The difference between the Airport Express base station and this one, the time capsule, is this actually houses a two terabyte hard drive inside. And you can use that to store backups, so you can have perhaps your MacBook Air automatically back up to the time capsule, or you can use it to maybe store media files, so you can then stream movies and music across your network, or a combination of the two, it's entirely up to you. So let's just move this off to one side. So this is the new model for 2013. I'll show you what my old one looks like. This is a really old one actually. This is one of the original uh, airport time capsules. You can see here a completely different design. Still got the Apple logo on the top here. Still got a larger LED on the front corner here. And then if I just turn this round, you can see all of the connections compared to this one remain pretty much the same. We've still got the uh, input for the power supply, we've still got a USB connection, we've got that WAN socket and the three Ethernet sockets, and we've also got the reset switch. The only thing that this one's got that's slightly different is this did have a Kensington lock to tether it down to a desk, and the new 2013 model doesn't have that. So that's it for the little comparison for you. I hope you enjoyed that little look back at one of the original airport time capsules. So I'm going to add this into my network. I absolutely love Apple products and I think they've done a really good job of redesigning this. Just to point out that the reason they've done this sort of taller design, I got this asked me about the previous video where I unboxed the Airport Extreme base station. It's taller with a smaller footprint, but they've done that because this actually houses the antennas, so it should give you a much better range with regards to your wireless connectivity. So that fit, that's it for this unboxing of the Airport time capsule from Apple. 2013 model with 802.11ac Wi-Fi and that two terabyte internal hard drive. If you enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up. Please do subscribe to the channel as well. It really does help me. And I will see you all in the next video.